Hello. Um, today I want to talk about um, how things are sort of like going with the whole DC uh, EU, the expanded universe that's going on, and how like you know Batgirl has been uh, canceled from ever coming out, and uh, movies getting delayed, and all that stuff. Uh, um, it's a pretty big loss, um, considering how, um, a lot of money was put into making, you know, a Batgirl, and how now it doesn't look like it's ever gonna come out at all, because I guess test screenings were bad, or not how, uh, they hoped, and so, from that, um, that's unfortunate, uh, in the fact that, you know, there, for those who are interested in watching the movie, um, now it doesn't look like there's gonna be any, uh, way to see it at all at this point in time, um, you know, being like, you know, like being released in theaters or HBO Max and how apparently like HBO Max is being like gutted or something at the moment. I don't know all the details on that so many people are focused on the whole Batgirl thing and um and I know there's people discussing about you know the quality from the images and stuff that were shown and whether or not it looked good from what you know uh was available to, for people to know and all that stuff and discussions of like race swapping and all that and, I mean like everybody I've got my own thoughts on that so I'm not gonna go into it because you know I kind of want to stay on topic um, with this and really that is that um, you know the DC expanded universe really uh, hasn't been in a very good state really um, hasn't been for quite some time I guess you could even say or since after Man of Steel came out it hasn't really been in a good state since, you know, we were supposed to get Man of Steel 2, um, which has never happened. Um, I know one will argue um, Batman vs. Superman is basically Man of Steel 2, but that wasn't supposed to be the case. The original sequel with ideas and stuff of going on, Batman was not supposed to be in it. Um, really, um, it was just supposed to be another Superman film. And I guess there would have been, like, maybe more Easter eggs or something with, like, Batman and Wonder Woman and all that, all those Justice League characters. Um, and, uh, but, you know, cause, because, you know, DC wants to do sort of like what Marvel did, they're kind of, you know, rushing things. And so because they're rushing, um, not everything has panned out the way they hoped. Um, you know, the response from viewers and, you know, cr critics and all that stuff, and even box office at times, you know, seems to indicate people aren't too happy with the state of, um, uh, of that, uh, this series that they're doing. You know, it's like they kind of rushed things, didn't really have much of a plan. At best, it was very vague. Like, you know, we have, we're right here, and this is where we want to be. And so they kind of just try to make as many movies as possible until uh, they could get to Justice League. But rather than, you know, you know what, what Marvel did was they had a plan from... Iron Man to Avengers and how to get there with each film, um, and they were kind of, and they were making movies pretty much, you know, con, uh, sort of all at the same time, and uh, weaving certain characters here and there, like cameos and such, um, to help weave everything together. Um, but. Uh, it's it's interesting uh, 
how Firewall did it. They did it well. And yet, uh, when DC does it, and, you know, they can see what Marvel did, and rather than sort of, like, adopting that, that sort of, like, process into theirs, they kind of just did so many things all at once, and now it's at the state where it is now, and, you know, so much is going on with DC, and how, like, you know, the fact that, you know, this film is not happening, is not, uh, you know, coming out at this point, you know, maybe someday it will be on Blu-ray or whatever. Because, um, you know, you think they want it to be out so they can somehow recoup the money. You know, and uh, there's enough hype around, around this film, which I didn't see too much. But then again, I wasn't really looking too much into Batgirl. I heard bits and pieces and I'm like, I don't know, it doesn't totally interest me too much but uh, you know if a trailer comes out and more things about it that make the film sound interesting or look interesting you know more than just like the some still images which you know are, don't always give a movie justice you know just kind of like you just have like a, a picture or two and a, perhaps a little brief description of what the overall synopsis of the film will be you know that isn't always the best indicator of what a movie will be like. So, with all that, um, I was kind of waiting, as a, as many people, just to see what this would be like. And well, <laughs> now this movie isn't gonna really isn't happening now, unfortunately. You know, for all those who are really interested in it, now it's like they don't get anything. A lot of people have speculated as to why this is, you know, I mean, there's like bad test screening, but usually if that happens, they usually then try to reshoot whatever they can, get rid of certain scenes that were like a problem to people, and then try to fix it by, you know, reshoots and rewriting and all that stuff. That way they can get the movie... Uh, to be the best way it can be, but then even then, sometimes reshoots can hurt a movie. It can make a movie worse, not better. So there's always that chance. And so who knows? Maybe they don't really have much faith in how this DC universe is. You know, it seemed like for some time they didn't have much faith of any of all of that at all. And so they're just kind of like, man, just let it go away and we'll just have sequels to these movies that definitely made money and could make more money you know we want to focus on those and the ones that you know didn't do much of anything you know we'll just kind of throw all that out and just move on um which isn't um always out of the ordinary for studios you know they want money. They want to bank on whatever does make money. And so if certain characters, like super, super, like certain heroes or characters do not make money or, you know, if they had their own individual movies and these characters made money, well, then we'll use those characters for sequels. But these characters that didn't make money or much money or as much money as we hoped, well, they don't get sequels, or they don't get to have their own movies, or whatever. Um, and other things, of course, are reasons as to why stuff like that doesn't happen. Um, but, you know, it's uh, very odd and weird uh, how uh, just because like of a bad test screening is what is reported as to being a decision amongst I'm sure many others but that's the one that keeps popping up that I saw um, that's a big decision to you know not only cancel this film but a Supergirl movie now isn't going to be made and um, the Flash is pushed back and other stuff going on with some of these movies like we don't, it's like you don't know what's happening. You, you don't know 
why certain uh, things are canceled or postponed. It's like, you know, whatever is there, it's not always clear. Like, there's a lot of factors involved, and, you know, maybe they just feel like there's not much of a future with some of these films or franchises, which there might not be, perhaps, but even then, it's like you're not even going to release the film that is completely shot. You're not even going to go and finish editing the film, remove certain scenes, and maybe reshoot some stuff to then maybe fix it if there's anything wrong because they're in the editing process so I guess they're going to go and you know make certain cuts certain changes and maybe make the movie better that way like certain scenes just didn't need to be there so got to cut it shorter I don't know um it's just weird and odd and you know also I mentioned Man of Steel 2 um Russell Crowe was supposed to be in there in that film, but of course he hasn't really appeared in ever since, you know, Man of Steel. Yeah, he was supposed to help guide uh, Superman, you know, as he continues his journey and understanding his powers and all that stuff. Well, that storyline, uh, which sort of sound, seemed interesting, uh, at least with, it, with uh, that Superman, uh, who knows if we will ever see uh, Henry Cavill get his own standalone sequel where, you know, it's just him and, you know, Amy Adams and everybody within that Superman role. No Batman, no Wonder Woman, no just him and another villain of his. You know, it's like, who knows if that will happen. Um, it would be cool, but... Who knows, it's just up in the air at this point. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's very, uh, very interesting for sure. Um, it's like a waste of money was done. Um, I guess if there was any upshot, it's that the people who were involved got paid, but outside of that on in terms of a financial standpoint yeah, it's like you know they cut, had a big loss because now they're not even going to release it at this point so um who knows who knows if uh any more developments will happen if there's going to be any more cancellations uh at the time of this recording i'm making this video at this point just a couple days after it was first announced that this was happening so a lot of stuff could have changed uh, from the time I make this video and then it's uploaded so you know please uh you know please keep that in mind if you're watching this it's just it's very interesting how all this is going on but uh, even Marvel you know there's a lot of people not too enthralled with the way Marvel is going anymore. So I, I remember people like, you know, after Endgame, there's not really much interest in other, you know, franchises, other films or shows or whatever they have planned, which does seem to be quite true to some extent, especially with the films. You know, there's not as much people seeing them on the big screen. Um, there's not as many people, uh, enthralled with some of the shows and stuff going on for one reason or another. Um, but, you know, you know, this seems to be a, a thing on just all fronts, like Marvel and DC. Um, so it's not completely all on DC, uh, any possible lack of interest in certain you know, films or whatever. But they, 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 there's just, this is just a complete, you know, shock and surprise. Like, it's not coming to, Batgirl is not coming to theaters. It's not going to HBO Max. Not coming out on Blu-ray. 
So right now it's just just gone. It's not ever coming out, and um, that's unfortunate. Um, I haven't seen the, the actress who's played Batgirl in this in this film, um, Leslie Grace. If I recall that, I've never seen her in anything. Uh, uh, Havana Heights, I believe, is a like the big prominent film she's in, or she was in. You know, I haven't seen that, but that's also a musical. I've expressed before. I'm not a big musical guy, so it's one reason I haven't seen it because that, those kind of films aren't really for me. Um, so I don't know. It might be good, but I haven't seen it, so I can't say if I liked the film, if I liked her in it, or whatever. Though usually in those movies, uh, if there's anything wrong like with choreography or whatever it's generally i'm it's probably going to be the director's fault or the people behind the scenes <sighs> excuse me um you know the actors and actresses can only do so much with what they have and if what they have isn't the greatest or they're not given the best direction sometimes they can kind of suffer especially with a musical you know gotta sing and i was dance and all that but um again i haven't seen the film so no clue if it's good or not um other people can say give their opinions on it and um say if it's good or not and um if for somebody like me who's not a musical person and only likes very few musicals you know in the sense of have no problem re-watching them for one reason or another um, you know, you could say, uh, if you like that or not, um, but yeah, this is, was just very interesting and very weird and odd. I thought I'd discuss that, and I know I haven't really talked about any of the real DCEU films. I've talked about a couple, I think, maybe, but again, I haven't seen every single one of those films, so can't really comment until I've really seen all of them. Then only then I could really begin to discuss my thoughts on all of them. That way I could then objectively say whether or not I liked this movie or that movie. Um, yeah, I hope uh, that's understandable. And uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope... Uh, This video is interesting to some extent. Um, are you disappointed there's not going to be a Batgirl film? Did you think that was needed? Did you, did you have any excitement? Or did you think, eh, wasn't that excited, didn't really care, so it's no loss? Um, or what? Um, what do you think about this happening and, and as a result of this being cancelled? Are there... Another film is no longer happening. Some movies are being delayed now. And, um, yeah. A lot going on. And, uh, yeah. Really sucks at DC and Warner Brothers right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, um, oh, and also, uh, one more thing. I, uh, again, I've written books. So if you want, if you're interested in a western I wrote, which is the Wandering Sheriff, you know, got a bounty hunter looking for some guys, and yeah, I um, just wanted to write something that's interesting and different. So that was what I thought of, and uh, book of short stories. Um, and here is the hardcover. Got that now. And, uh, I also sort of fixed something at the end. Early on, if you got, probably, you know, this is now up, up here. Um, but in the paperback here, um, it originally was, uh, 
down here, but this is now up there in the paperback too, but um, it's been fixed, so I got the hard cover. Hard cover, I got that when it finally came out, and this is also in hard cover. In my LinkedIn, you can go and find that um, if you like. I can pay or buy a paperback, a uh, hardcover or ebook, whichever you like or prefer. And yeah, hope all of you are having a great day. Hope you're all going to have a great week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.